here's everything that's coming for Reverse 1999 Anniversary in CN. First of all, the first season of the main story will come to its conclusion. This time, we'll see the story from the perspective of Venus, which is where Patch 1.7 took place, Laplace, one of the Foundation's organization that specializes in arcana science, and of course, the islands where 1.4 took place. For the character, we'll be getting Lucy, the true limited character of Anniversary. She's the 6-star intelligence reality DPS who also deals Genesis damage. Plus, she has a special system where she slowly upgrades her skill, like Victor from League of Legends. Outside of the kid looking quite strong, for those who prefer less human-looking characters, you can actually choose to either have the human skin on or off, and it will stay that way unless you manually change it even if you re-log in. We will also have Kakanya, Isolde's doctor as a regular limited character. She's a 6-star plant mental support that can take some damage in place of her allies and also amplify the burst damage of the team by dealing a percentage of that burst damage again as Genesis damage on her ultimate. Now, we also have a third 6-star character. However, she will be given to you for free and be added to standard pool immediately. She's that character introduced in the roguelike in 1.6, which is coming up. And the reason she looks like this is because she's infected by vampires. She's focused on losing health to deal more damage and seems to also be able to amplify the damage of other characters who lose health with their incantations such as Eternity. And lastly, we have a 5-star star unit, La Role. She's a support that focuses both on buff and debuff, and just like Matilda, she won't be added to the standard pool, but instead, you'll have to play the roguelike mode to get her. And also, we'll get another copy of Matilda. In fact, the second copy since the game released. Just like 1.6, there will be a regular banner for Kakania in part 2 and a special banner for Lucy that lasts the entire patch, with the ability of getting one bonus copy every 200 pulls. Additionally, there will be a special pickup banner where you can choose any standard unit as read up, with separate pity, of course. Unlike the roguelike from 1.6, the 1.9 version of roguelike will be added permanently. The mode will update over time, along with some additional reward added to the shop over time. Uh, there is also a cool new system in Roguelike where you can put a specific skill of a support character onto your main team. Also, and we're getting our third tuning set after a year. This tuning set is quite overpowered for Wind Sound and we'll see how it performs on the future characters as well. Story focused game, you don't really want to stop new players from reading the story, so there will be a new Fairy Tale difficulty added to the story mode. It will be extremely easy so that every new player will be able to experience the story without having their team fully built. But they only give small amount of first time reward and if you're strong enough, you can skip the difficulty as you will still get to claim the fairy tale difficulty reward from clearing the normal mode. Oh, and they're changing up the resonance system a little. It's said that you will now have ways to adjust the status of main resonance piece, though I think it won't change how resonance is built since it will only affect the status on main piece. And finally for the gameplay side, the third door will have a new stage with new puzzles. Now, let's move on to the non-gameplay related stuff. One function that was requested by Chinese player after the Lunar New Year was to add a voice lane switch system. Since while they liked the English dub for most characters, they wanted Jun Yangzi and Gutian to speak Chinese. Now they can set that language to each character individually. And they're also adding an event story data where you can watch the event and the character story from the past. Though they will have to update the system over time as well. The homepage will also become modifiable, you can now change the music in the main lobby, though some of this music need to be acquired through stuff like UT2 and events. Plus, the wilderness will have a new skin system for the main buildings, and any water body that are connected in the wilderness can be adjusted as a whole to the color of any connected block. So, no more need to look at those colorful waters. The birthday piece for the new year will be a cake, so no more cemeteries. Oh, and some characters can now interact with each other in the wilderness. For the skin, we'll have the usual UTD skin, BP skin, and paid skin. But this time, for the paid skin, we have a new unique tier. Regular skin will be placed in unique tier with complete animation overhaul for ultimate and skills, along with new voice lens. She will also have animated character cards just like Jun Yangzi. Outside of the usuals, there will also be a new skin for Sonato. And just like the skin from the tutorial, this will also be completely free, and you will get it from clearing the main story. Oh yeah, and of course, the thing everyone cares about, the rewards. We'll get 1 free temples for Lucy Banner, and additional 20 pulls from login, split between first half and second half. 
will have a separate login bonus with 500 clear drop and 10 jars of candies. Yes, 10 jars of candies. And another login event for Dragon Boat Festival. So I am expecting the Dragon Boat Festival to land in Global Next Patch in this same time. You can check the account report for your past year, probably through a web event for 100 clear drops, and also some yellow grid mass every day by clicking the wilderness. And of course, finally for the dolphin and the whales, they're adding a bit more reward for paid BP, and they're also refreshing the first time purchased bonus for Jim. So for the whales, you can well again. Additionally, there will be a standard pull selector in the shop, bundled with 10 pulls. But I do wonder how much would it cost. And that's pretty much everything that I catch from the anniversary stream. I'm pretty excited for everything, but for the global only players, this content is about 5 months away. So, this has been Steam by Next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.